good morning you guys it is a very exciting day once again because we are going to sephora my favorite store of all time so let me not take my hands off the steering wheel i just got a little excited there but yeah oh my god something so traumatic just happened to me i got out to pump gas and it's kind of a windy day speed bump but it's kind of a windy day and I don't know if somebody was like sanding wood or what, but a whole like mini micro wood chip went into my eye and like lodged itself. Like that's some traumatic shit right there. But when I was pumping gas, I had no idea what was in my eye. I thought like a bug or something flew in my eye. So I just like held my eye like this until I was done and just like got in my car and I looked and I was like that literally looks like a wood chip. But luckily I was close enough to home so I went home and I got like a q-tip and like got it out and I showed my boyfriend Koa and he was like this is literally a mini wood chip. Lodged in my eye. If that's not traumatic I don't know what is. Okay, so I'm about to turn into the mall and I saw that there's a matcha pop-up shop and they have like these super cute matcha drinks and I was like, this is perfect. Like, I have to get one before I go into Sephora, right? Right. But I found out that the pop-up shop closes at 3 and it's 3.01 right now, so. Okay, so bad news, the pop-up shop was closed, but good news, I found this little boba shop and I got a matcha boba and this boba was phenomenal. It was like the best boba I've ever had. But I made it to Sephora. This was the main goal anyway. So yeah, first I stopped at Drunk Elephant. I love all their packaging, but I stopped for the Goldie Drops, whatever they're called. I see these all over my TikTok, so I had to grab them. I'm so excited to try these. Next, I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Gazoo? I don't know, but look at the display. It's stunning, like the most aesthetic packaging of all time. I love the flowers and the honeycombs and just the vibe, but I stopped for the honey oil. I've seen this everywhere, so I wanted to give her a go. My next stop was Benefit. I got the 24-hour brow setter. Fun fact, I've actually already used this stuff before, but it's my favorite and it's viral, so got it. I quite literally chugged my boba, by the way, but now we are at Glossier. I love the whole aesthetic of Glossier. It's top tier, but I stopped for the lip balms. I've never tried them. The birthday cake one seemed appealing to me, so yeah grabbed it. It's coming home with me. I've seen them all over my TikTok. Next, I stopped at Huda Beauty. I don't even know if I'm saying that right either, but these powders are so viral. I mean, as you guys can see, they're like basically fully sold out. I just wanted to get one of the minis, so I went with Banana Bread because that was the only shade they had in the minis. So yeah. Next, I stopped at Patrick Ta. I've been wanting to try the blush for so long now and I feel so late to trying it, but yeah, I had to get her at some point. I swatched She's Vibrant, I believe, and She's a Doll. I wanted She's a Doll, but this Sephora was sold out, kind of broke my heart. Next, I stopped at Makeup Forever for their lip liners. I saw one that was trending. It was number 606. So yeah, I grabbed her and I don't know how to feel about the brown liner because I usually use pink ones, but we'll find out. Next, I stopped at Cali Ray because I've heard really good things about their skin tint. So I just swatched it and it kind of seemed a little too oily for me. Maybe I was supposed to shake it better. I don't know, but my skin's already oily, so it wasn't going to work for me. Next, I stopped at House Labs to grab one of their brand new concealers they just launched. I got shade Light Golden and I was so excited to try this because I love their foundation. My basket's looking real cute and we secured the bag. Yay. Okay guys, so I left the other Sephora just to pull up to a different Sephora because I need the Patrick Ta blush in the exact shade I want. So I'm not going home without it. So let's go get it really quick. We have arrived at Sephora number two in one day, which is kind of excessive, but I wasn't gonna go home without the Patrick Ta She's a Doll blush. And it looked like they only had two, so thank God 
I got there in time because these sell out so fast. So yeah, secured the bag once again. Okay guys, so I just got back home. I just took off all my makeup so I can try out all these products and see what's really worth the hype. Okay, the hair clips are in and we are ready to try. Okay, so first up is the Viral Drunk Elephant B Goldie Bright Drops. The packaging for Drunk Elephant is always so cute, like they never miss. But let's see if the product is actually worth the hype. Packaging, 10 out of 10. It, it says you're supposed to mix it with a serum of some sort, but I'm just gonna put it on as is. Okay guys, let's see, moment of truth. Okay, cool. I'm using my mirror and my camera finder, so if I'm looking everywhere, that's why. It honestly feels really good on my skin. It feels not like makeup, which I guess it's not. It's kind of skincare, but like with a tint of glow. She is definitely giving me glow. She's cute. This isn't like the craziest product I've ever used, but it's really good. So I feel like I give this a nine out of 10. It's pretty good. If you just wanna glow under makeup or just on your skin alone, it's good. Next is the Glossier Balm.com in birthday cake. The packaging as always is so cute. Glossier does such a good job. Like, look at the packaging. It is so cute. I feel like packaging just automatically gives points for a product being good to me. I don't know, but... Ooh, it smells so good. Let's see. It's very buttery, which I love. Okay, so initially this smells really good, but now it's kind of giving me like a Play-Doh scent, if that makes sense. I don't know if it's the taste or the smell. I think it could be the smell. But it feels really good on my lips. Like it's super buttery and smooth. Everything you want a lip balm to be. So I don't know. I feel like I give this... The packaging is so cute. It gets points for this. But the product itself, I feel like I give this like a 6.5. Just because the smell is throwing me off. Like it's not really giving birthday cake. It's giving kind of like birthday cake play-doh to me i don't know but it's so cute the packaging is so cute it kind of makes up for it but you know next is the house labs triclone skin tech concealer i got shade 10 light golden i got shade 10 light golden so yeah i just applied a layer of foundation and now we're gonna try out the concealer on top this is the applicator I may have got a shade slightly too dark for me. I don't know. We're going to find out. Honestly, 10 out of 10 for packaging. I feel bougie putting this on. This is honestly blending out so well. Wait, this is so good. This concealer is blending out so seamlessly. Like, it looks so good. And the coverage is chef's kiss. Oh my god, I just stabbed myself in the eye. This concealer looks so good. Like, it looks like skin. I give an 11 out of 10. This concealer is worth the money and it's it's luxurious feeling, all of the above. She's cute, she looks good. 11 out of 10. Now that I have done my concealer, it is perfect timing for the Huda. Am I saying that right? Huda Beauty Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I got shade Banana Bread. I've seen this powder all over my TikTok, like everyone just raves about it, so, oh. I just got the mini one, but look at the packaging. Oh wait, I twist this. That was scary. Oh my god, I didn't know it came with an applicator. Wait, this makes my life so much easier. kind of hard with this applicator just under my eye. I guess you're not really supposed to use it like this, or maybe you are. I don't know. This doesn't feel right. Okay, actually I am gonna use the dusty little dry beauty blender because I need it like right under my eye, and this is like too rounded and big for me to do that right now, so I'm just gonna put it on like this. 
Oh my god. This powder looks like I have a filter under my eyes. Like, it is so good. Like, I'm surprised I haven't tried this yet because I've seen it everywhere all over social media. It's like a filter. It looks so good. This powder gets an 11 out of 10 for me. Honestly, maybe a 10 out of 10 just because this applicator is like hard for me to put under my eyes. I mean, I guess if you're on the go, it's an 11 out of 10. It's fine. I'll give it an 11 out of 10. Okay, next is the Patrick Ta blush in She's a Doll. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus. I've seen this literally everywhere. It fills up my whole TikTok feed. So yeah, I'm so excited to try this out. I just put on a little bit of bronzer because I like to wear my blush with bronzer. So yeah, I already got my fingerprints all over it, but this is the packaging. It's so sleek and luxurious. I don't know why I just like got my fingers all in it. It's okay. It's okay. She's still pretty and perfect. We're all good. But look at these colors, you guys. So this one's a cream and this one's a powder. If you don't know, this color is very similar to the viral Dior blush. So yeah, I'm very excited to try this out. One reason why this stuff is so viral is because typically you put cream and then powder, but he says you can put powder and then the cream on top. So we're gonna try that method out today. This feels so wrong to put the powder and then the cream, but we're gonna go for it. So let's take the cute pink. Whoa, I have a lot. I feel like this is gonna be so pigmented. Oh, okay, wait. No, we're good. I didn't get too much. Well, maybe. Let's just see. So cute. I have way more on this side than this side, but it's fine. Just keep blending. This stuff is pigmented, so don't use too much on your first go. Okay, now for the scary part is putting the cream on top. Hopefully I do this right. I'm just going in with this beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, and dipping it in the cream. And then gonna apply it on top of the powder. This is looking so good, actually. It's like giving a glow, like it looks like skin. Yeah, it looks more glowy on this side than this side. This side's still glowy, but like, this side in person looks more like skin. Oh my God, I can see why this is viral. This is so pretty. This is one of the best blushes I've ever used. I give this blush a 12 out of 10. This stuff is so beautiful. The application and everything is just, it's so good. Okay, so I just filled in my brows because next I am using the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I actually have already tried this. I use it pretty often, but I ran out. So let me just show you guys how good it is. Oh God, there's a lot of product on that. It just does what I want it to do for my brows. I don't know. I just think it makes my brows look so good. It's a 11 out of 10 for me. Next is the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in shade 606 Wherever Walnut is what it's called. It's like a brownish lip liner. I'm super curious how this is going to look on me because I usually wear pinkier lip liners. Okay. Super buttery. I love this color. Wait, this is so pretty. This is my new favorite lip liner. This gets an 11 out of 10. I know I'm giving everything an 11 out of 10, but it's so good. Okay, lastly, I'm so excited about this. This is the Viral Honey Infused Lip Oil. I don't know how to say this properly. Is it Gazoo? I don't know. That sounds so wrong, but like, I don't know how else to say this, but I can see why this is viral in the sense of like the packaging. It's like so aesthetic and the bottle's like wavy and it's in glass, I believe. This is the lip oil. Oh, it's heavy. It's in glass, which I love. It just makes it feel extra bougie. So let's, let's give it a go. Why is this not coming out? I'm scared. Oh, okay. Here's the applicator. I don't know why it won't focus. Okay, there we go. 
cute. Let's try her out. Oh, I feel like it has a little yellowy honey tint to it. Feels really good. I'm getting lip liner all over this. Oh my god. I don't think it has a scent. I don't smell anything. Actually, maybe like a very subtle honey scent. I don't know. I don't know. I could be tripping, but... I don't know if it's the best lip oil I've ever used, but like the packaging, I feel like it makes up for the price and everything. I'm gonna give this like an 8 out of 10. I feel like the product could be better. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't know. It's not crazy to me. The packaging is like the best part. I don't know. It's an 8 out of 10 for me, so. Okay, I just put on a little bit of mascara just to pull this makeup look together but that's irrelevant so that is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this sephora haul if you guys have any video recommendations or requests let me know in the comments or if you guys want me to like review a certain product let me know or just let me know like any viral products you know of because i want to be put on so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video let me take these clips out. Sometimes these clips pull my hair, I swear, it kind of hurts. Final look.